Brian's been sleeping here since Brennan's been in school. I came out here to take a nap and took my mask off. Kind of breaks my heart. You should wear my face. <laughs> Alice is not making it easy. <laughs> Hello, so happy to have you home. I came out here to take a nap and took my mask off. I'm so excited about our new outer furniture. Do you love it? What about me? I'm happy that you're here too. <laughs> you're not so new, but I am happy that you're here. All right, Brennan is the best thing about this summer. Our outer couch is our second best thing about this summer. Your socks don't match. You guys, I'm sitting out here with, with Brennan on this new outdoor couch. It is a sectional. And I absolutely love it. You guys, first of all, thank you to Outer for sponsoring this video today. I was beside myself when they said, hey, we'd like to partner with you guys. I was like, heck yeah. We got the teak and it's a one, two, three, four, five piece sectional. Outer creates durable and eco-conscious outdoor furniture designed to help people live better outside. Outer completely reimagined the outdoor living experience from the ground up. We live outside a lot of the time and this furniture has changed how we live out here. I love Outer because it's made from the best materials. Their patented outer shell fabric is UV protected and stain resistant, so it keeps things looking brand new for up to 10 years. Outer is risk-free. If you do not love your outer sofa, they offer free return shipping and a 100% money back guarantee within 14 days of delivery. But mine is staying put right on our deck. If you're looking to live better outside, look no further than Outer. People love Outer. They make the most durable, eco-conscious outdoor furniture, and they're an amazing brand that actually gives back to the environment. Don't wait. Get $200 off and free shipping by going to go.liveouter.com backslash Donnelly's. That's go.liveouter.com backslash Donnelly's. So they know that we sent you. One of their recent collections sold out in 24 hours, so trust me, you do not want to miss this deal. Thank you again to Outer for sponsoring today's video. Good afternoon, everybody. Today we're going to be doing something that kind of breaks my heart, mm. but kind of makes me proud. What do you think, Mike? Another day in which we excel, Joe. It is. Let's excel Ryan right out of that room. <laughs> we're gonna excel Ryan right out of his bed. <laughs> All right, so if you guys have been watching for a while, you know that this is where we keep our growth chart of everybody as they grow. And it's about time to do Ryan's growth chart again because I really feel like he's grown a few inches beyond where he was the last time we did it. And that is exemplified by the fact that he's kind of growing out of his bed. So this is Ryan's room that we redid maybe two years ago, I'm thinking now. It was probably two years ago. And we put the loft bed in maybe three years ago, actually, now that I think about it. Because that was when Brennan moved downstairs. And Ryan moved in here and Katie moved into Brendan and Ryan's room. Anyway, it have been longer than that. Time flies, but this is Ryan's bed and it is a loft bed and it's over his desk and it's over his beanbag chair and there's his closet and everything's kind of a mess in here um, right now just because he's gonna, he'd be upset that I was filming his room without anybody knowing me. Anyway, um, so we today are going to say goodbye to the loft bed. It has become kind of comical for now that Brendan's home because... When Brennan was gone, Ryan started sleeping downstairs in Brennan's room, which as you know, again, if you're watching, it's uh, he has a double bed down there and it's so much more comfortable for him. Now, Brennan's room is an absolute mess because he just came home from school. So he has, look at this. <laughs> he kind of exploded all over the room. Okay, anyway, but Ryan's been sleeping here since Brennan's been in school, but now Brennan's back. So Brennan's in here, which bumps Ryan back up to his room. And the fact that Ryan, hasn't been in his room in a while and the fact that he's having to like climb up and sleep on top of a loft when he's almost 16 years old and probably I don't know five nine that makes it a little bit difficult for him so we are going to get him a day bed a big boy bed, a big boy bed Mike we're getting him a big boy bed <laughs> So I found one on Facebook Marketplace, so I kind of have to go get it. Like when you find things on Facebook Marketplace, you've got to get them right away or they're like not available. So Ryan's at school right now. He doesn't know I found this. So he might come home from school and find that his bed, his bed is gone. But he was hip to the plan. He, he understands. He realizes that this is the next step in his, you know, development. <laughs> so Mike and I are going to run up and try. We're going to attempt to put this day bed into 
the back of the SUV. Now the day bed is very cool because it also has drawers underneath and it also has a trundle. So when the trundle pulls out, it pulls up, turns into a king bed. So he's like the bomb. Hmm. We probably are gonna have to move his dresser from in there though. We're gonna figure all that out when we get back. But oh. Mike, are you ready to go? Let's fly. Let's do it. Our hope is that the whole bed is going to fit back here. Ooh. I know, what do you think? Yikes. We made as much room as we could. So what we did, this is the deal. It's like, a, it's a day bed. So it has two sides and a back and then drawers and a trundle and two mattresses. So we brought our tools to break it down. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna try to break it down, lay it flat. I think it will, Michael, I'm optimistic. I like that about you. Thank you. You're an optimist. Thank you, I am. I, uh, sometimes I, I bite off more than I can chew, but it's all I'm good. Like, look at my thing again. You got your little Alpion. on. Yeah. I know, look at that. Hey you guys, speaking of that, thank you for bringing it up, Michael. We have some new merch getting ready to drop here in the next, mm -hmm. I would say two weeks. Uh -huh. It's very exciting and um, I will let you know, I'll put it on social media and also I'll put it on the comments uh, or I'll put it on the um, YouTube community tab. Are these going to be discontinued because this could be worth a lot of money someday? They are, so please be very careful with it. We're not <laughs> we're not re-upping that design. We have a new design. <laughs> so stay tuned. And we have new... This um, is classic merchandise. It is classic. As a matter of fact, we just sold our last rainbow stripe hoodie yesterday yes. too. The white one or the cream colored one. Also, um, the we have new different kind of merchandise coming out. So these are soft lines, which is like the clothes and stuff. We have some hard lines coming out too. Oh, we hope you guys will I'm like. Of you. Oh, thank you. Soft lines, hard lines. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sometimes I do bite off more than I can chew. Great. But in this case, hopefully, it's all going to work out, and you guys will love it. So let me know. Um, give me feedback on that, but I will let you know when it comes out. Actually, comment down below too what items you would like to see in our merch, because that might help us. Um, I don't like that Oh my, would you guys buy a Mike Donnelly hoodie? I think that would sell out. If you had a hoodie with like <laughs> just a big caricature of Mike on the front, would you buy it? Huh? I think we might I have be able to pay to... people to buy that. <laughs> uh, you wear my face. <laughs> there she blows. This is the day bed, and it's pulled out with the trundle. Mike is now starting to take it apart. I'm gonna do the same on this side. This might take some time, but it's a nice piece. We've discovered that this is an Ikea piece, which is great, we love Ikea. It's easier to put Ikea together than it is to take yeah, Ikea apart. Build. Huh? A build. Oh, build, build, not put together. Yes. It's easier to construct, to build, to craft, create. It's not assemble, <laughs> it's built. Like is, Mike, but you are, but are you unbuilding now? You're unbuilding? <laughs> unbuilding an Ikea piece is not the easiest thing in the world. So we, are, we got the uh, trundle out and the drawers. They are downstairs and outside of our car waiting to go in. Hey, oh, very good. Don't lose any pieces. Very nice. All right, we think we're gonna take this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. Have four separate pieces. Oh, and he's going in. Good luck, Mike. Okay. All right, there's drawers, mattresses, bed, bed. All of that is gonna go in there. We hope. All right, Good we got Lord. it. Oh my goodness. That was um, a feat, a feat, but it's all good. I'm excited for it. I think it's gonna look great in the room. You know what I mean? Totally. Don't you? Oh. We should, getting on without it, has, it hitting us in the head <laughs> is going to be probably. Oh! Jeez, what was that? Oh, yeah, that was the uh... curb. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess that's why they had that little thing in the yeah. car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. $300 for the bed, but $1,000 for the car. <laughs> to fix the car. Oh, jeez. All right, here it is, hanging out in our living room. First, we have to go in here, clean this up a little bit, break that down, and then build it back up. One by one, it's coming down. We still have his Christmas sheets on. Aww. <laughs> Cute. There's Ryan's bed. 
in the back of the car. Big boy, um, <laughs> baby boy bed. Baby boy bed. We're trading it for a big boy bed. <laughs> Ryan is doing a little bit of a workout before he goes to bed. There we go. He's you gotta get the gains in. I mean, really, no days yeah. off. Right. Six pounds on your back. Yep. Alice <laughs> is not making it easy. <laughs> Well, you just gotta push through, you just gotta fight, you just gotta fight. That's right. I'm working out, my workout partner here. Yeah. She pushes me every single day. It's three. Three more. There it is. There it is. You got it, you got it, you got it. Nice. Okay, very good. <laughs> she knew. She knew. Yeah, she it was time. Like, three more, right? Come on. Shut up, Mal. Good workout, man. Good workout. Hey. Okay, so Mike and I put Ryan's bed together. And I have to say, I love it. I don't know, Ryan. Do you like? Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it, I, like I love the bed, but the only thing is, it makes the room feel so much smaller. It is a very small room, but like because <laughs> the loft added like a lot of space. Right, you use the height for the sleeping, and then you have all the floor space. But this is. But climbing up in and out the loft anymore, you're kind of a. Oh well, yeah, I'm yeah. Too grown for a loft. <laughs> too grown for a loft bed. We're calling this his big boy bed. We were calling this big boy bed all day long. <laughs> He finally is graduating. Right, to a big boy bed. It's a nice thing though, huh? <laughs> it's very nice. You so, guys, did we show you? Yeah. Look at, well, I can't do it right now because we decided that we have to move that. Yeah, look at, so these are drawers, which actually we didn't even put anything in there yet. Nice. These are drawers. And then this whole thing pulls out. Well, he's sitting in it now. So if he's not in it, he's not so happy, but this whole thing pulls out and it's a trundle. Oh, cool. So he can have a, I mean, you could sleep like that if you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. But it's nice. We like it. And I got this pillow today. I thought it'd be really cute on his bed. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Wow. Uh, <laughs> You'll always be my little boy. Shark bait. Ooh, ha, ha. Ooh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So stay tuned. We've got more coming down the pike. Thank you so much for watching. Comment down below. What made, oh, what made me happy? What made you happy today? Golfing. Oh yeah, I went golfing after school. Right, I went golfing. What made me happy today was getting this done. We've been like wanting to switch the loft out for a long time. I just couldn't find the right bed, what would fit, all that stuff. So I'm happy. I hope Ryan's happy. Ryan, you happy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good what job, everybody. You, what made you happy, Mike? Um, get rid of the old bed. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. What happened, wait, what happened to all the stickers that were on the side? They're still on the side. Oh, you can salvage them? No. Oh, dang. Sorry. That's okay. We can redo it. I was, as I was looking, I was like, okay, you had a Trexus one, you had a Vineyard Vines one, you mm -hmm. had an Under Armour one, and oh, a Vans one. All ones we can get again. True. Yeah. <laughs> Do you notice your guy up there? I did notice my guy up there. <laughs> Pretty cool. Good. Perfect spot for it. Looks that's good. where, when he had his bunk bed, that's where he kept like his um, retainer and his uh, phone and all that stuff up there. So we just left that. Up there, I think. Awesome. Cool. So you're suggesting that that could be a king bed? Yes, it's two twins put together. That's amazing. I know. Or like for like if you have a sleepover or something, you know? Yeah, well in this small room, uh, it's good to have those drawers so you I think get so rid of too. this thing, right? I think if you get rid of this. I don't want to get rid of that. Of course you don't. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Time for what made you happy today. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.